if it's real But when I'm with you I feel A little closer to heaven And yes, you move me that much And I get from your touch A little closer to heaven Okay, so this message is for Jean Jean Grah, hi Jean um, Jean's question is, hi Diane, I would love to have a chance for a free reading. My question is, do you see my private practice being successful? Okay, right, thank you, much love Jean. Okay, so Jean, uh, what I have to say about this is the first thing that I get is um, make sure you don't tunnel yourself in. And um, that sounds like a weird thing to say, but that's the imagery that I'm seeing. Um, you know, it's a picture of you sort of digging yourself in to a situation where you're at home and you're promoting it at home, you're doing it at home and you're sort of expecting, uh, you know, they're saying create energy, create energy, create energy, okay? So rather than saying First and foremost, we, we want to get away from limitation here. We want to put you in a place of expansion, okay? And there seems to have been quite some deal of contraction in your life. And they're saying you can only make this work by having a broader view. And number one is a correction in the question, so to speak. Sorry, but they're kind of taking over a bit. And the question is something more like this, to say, what actions can I take to ensure the success of my private practice? So you take the power back because already waiting to be told whether it will be a success is a part of that tunneling down process. Do you understand? Try to understand the vibration of it because that's the picture that I'm seeing with someone tunneling down and things get narrower and narrower. Whereas when you open things out and you connect with people, um, that's when it gets broader and broader. And when you also take control of, um, you know, empower yourself with the ability to make it a success. And that said, with such love, I know you're not expecting to be just told and waiting for things to happen. But I want to just give you that slight shift in perspective because they seem to think it was very important. Yes, of course it can be uh, successful but it depends on you and your level of productivity and your um, aspect your attitude towards it okay they're saying it can grow and grow and grow <laughs> that's great they're saying from little acorns grow mighty mighty oaks and they're saying but it's all about positioning yourself and having the right perspective on things I see you um, running a workshop as well and I don't know if this is something that you've considered doing but I see you standing in a circle holding hands so it's a sort of thing where people might hold hands close their eyes say a prayer to begin with or connect or something this so whatever this private practice is it's um it's not uh, it's not dentistry <laughs> Or you've got some other things on the side that you do that are a bit more esoteric. But it just feels like something where you've thought, oh, there are other ways for me to approach this. And I feel that those other ways are correct as well. So yes, it depends. Yes, it can be successful. And it depends on what you do to make it successful and keep the expansion going and growing. OK, so let's just see what the cards say. I've chosen dolphins and mermaids for you for some reason and they've said she'll appreciate that. <laughs> so you can tell me why in the comments. I'm going to go for past, present, future. And I'm going to do all dolphins and mermaids. Right. The advice and the outcome, possible outcome if you follow the advice. Okay, so the events, events leading up to now self-forgiveness okay so i'm getting a lot of this energy around that um it doesn't surprise me because i know that we're all doing a lot of clearing at the moment you know it's been a big year for that 
but it's really been about the kind of clearing that brings us right to the gateway, right to the threshold of just going out into the world and saying, right, enough of this self-questioning, enough of this guilt from the past, enough of this playing small, enough of being the child who was wounded or the woman who was heartbroken or the man who was stood up or you know whatever it is it's been a very big year for saying whatever those stories are I just draw a line under them and I'm going to walk away and leave them behind the energies the vibration the, the sense of lack and limitation and frustration all of those things and I must say for you to reiterate what they said at the beginning the lack of empowerment the sense that it's in <laughs> the sense that Anything you're doing or planning to do is in anyone else's hands. That must go. This is a very old pattern. And I don't want to keep banging on about it because, you know, I'm not, you know, here to judge or criticise you. And they're certainly not meaning it in that way. But they're saying this is really important for you now to get into that way of seeing yourself as someone who can make it happen. Let go of old guilt and remember that you are God's perfect child. So whatever it is that you're holding on to from the past, it's time to let it go. Let yourself off the hook and flow into the success that's coming. Okay, present. This is what you need to do. And I'm being given a period of one month with you. And, uh, but they're saying starting from today, what you need to be doing is playing. Oh, that's great. Right, so you have been not light-hearted enough about this. You've been taking it and yourself way, way, way too seriously. And that is also a part of that energy of contraction. Um, all of those things are on that same vibration. Contraction, fear, self-judgment, self-criticism, disempowering feelings, and a lack of a sense of humour. They're saying a lack of fun, a lack of lightness. They're saying we want you to go out and play and have fun. And the message says the dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestation. And I want to add to that, joy creates miracles and manifestation, but also in your case... It also brings in inspiration and it works that way for a lot of us that when we get too kind of hooked into an idea and can I do it, can't I do it, is it going to be okay, is it going to work out, uh, the, the energy that we're putting around that manifestation or project is too heavy for it to grow and, and come to fruition. So they're saying step back and bring the lightness around it again and let us take care of some of it for you we'll work with you but we need a light vibration to come into so i felt you were getting a lot of inspirations and ideas about six months ago even and also about six weeks ago so they're giving me those two time periods about six months ago that you started to really make the big decisions you were going to go for it and then it sort of you know plodding along, plodding along, plodding along. Last six weeks, you, you've been getting some inspirations here and there, but you've also had these periods where you take everything too heavily. You know, your mind is just thinking it through too heavily sometimes. So they're saying they want you to play, have some play time. And um, the next month or so, Take a different attitude towards it. Have more of a fun attitude towards it. Go out and socialise and get chatting to people about it. And, you know, and see where that leads you. It's not all about promoting. Um, sometimes it's just about uh, being in the right uh, energy. Being in the right energy where all the things that you've thought of already can find you. You know, that uh, Esther Hicks idea. Okay, float your cork. <laughs> float your cork for a while. And moving into the future, you need to let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. So if, for example, you have people who are willing to help you out with this dream, with this vision, to support you, to offer some other input or, or you know, whatever kinds of support you need, don't be afraid to receive it. Don't be afraid to say yes, thank you very much. You know, um, it's been a long time, actually, since you allowed yourself to have some fun and to receive as well. So those two things seem really important. They seem to be coming together as you emerge from this period of self-questioning. Okay, so you've been doing a lot of work on yourself, is the way it feels. The advice cards. So this is 
Yeah. What you need to do to make it happen. Divine magic and set your sights higher. So this feels like really trust that you have that magic at your disposal and that you can make things happen and that you need to have a bigger vision. You need to have a bigger vision and you need to believe that it's possible for you to reach for that, that it's possible for you to make something happen that's outside of what you planned and thought of. And to me, this feels again like gathering people together, doing a workshop or doing something that might not be in your immediate plan, but something that just gives you a broader vision rather than just thinking in terms of a private practice. Okay? Um, yeah. And the outcome if you get your magic to work and you see the bigger vision is that you'll be able to have a bit of time to just relax a little bit because it's not just uh, that you haven't been playing you also have been allowing yourself to get a little bit stressed out about it so don't get stressed out about it yes it can be successful it can be successful if you allow yourself to to do all of these things, so to stay in the right vibration, to take the right actions, to see things in a slightly different way, in a bigger way than what you'd first imagined, and to go forward with all of the new steps that that presents, and not shy away from anything, not contract and stop tunnelling yourself in, into a narrow way of seeing the vision. Now I understand that tunnel a lot better, okay? Expansion, expansion in vision, expansion in your actions, expansion in the path that you take. And then you'll get to a point where you'll be able to just relax a little bit more because of the way you've put those structures in place and what they reward you with. Okay, I hope that helps. Take care and thanks for listening. Bye. I don't know if it's real, but when I'm with you I feel a little closer to heaven. And yes, you move me that much, and I get from your touch. Closer to him.